action. This is a Tahitian breadfruit. Uh, you notice the leaf's a little bit different than your average breadfruit. Uh, pan up to that one right behind you. Uh, this Pomoho prickly has a more normal breadfruit leaf, but this is still a, a breadfruit. So I'm gonna pick a. So this is the Tahitian. Yes. There we go. Check it, make sure it's not soft. There we go, and that's got some sap on it. Right. Cool. Okay. And so these are Tahitian. Right. Now let's go pick a. That's a Tahitian. Moho prickly. Here. And this is a moho prickly. The leaves are different. Moho prickly leaf right here. Yes. Nicely ripe. Did you get that? Yep. Yeah. That's a nice quality. Awesome. Breadfruit. See the little lines around each? Those are floral remnants. That means the flowers of the fruit, which they don't use anymore. But they're ripe when you see the, what color is that? Brown lines around the? Yep, kind of like a brown yes. line around the segments. Yeah. One of the better breadfruits. This is the moho prickly? Yeah, pomoho prickly. Pomoho prickly. Right. And if you run your hand over it, you can feel the little floral. Yeah, the, the spikes. Bumps there. That's uh, why they call it prickly. Right. When you cook them, they, they go away. Okay. And then this one right here. This is the best of 19. This is best okay. of 19. Uh, we don't have to pick one. A, I don't see one. There was a competition amongst breadfruit aficionados trying to determine the, the best breadfruit, which is hard to do, because they're all about the same. <laughs> but they decided this was best out of 19, and according to the guy that grafted this tree, he said he didn't know if there were 19 or, or 30 different breadfruits they were sampling. <laughs> uh, awesome. These get big, yeah. about the size of a basketball. I don't see any ripe ones. Right, I'm looking for one right now. Not a big deal. No. Uh, oh. Is there one right there? Yes. Might be a little big. Like you were saying, they are the big ones, huh? Right. But you can knock it off and it'd probably survive. Yes. I'm trying to twist it because it's too far out to climb the tree. Yeah, there you go. Another high-end breadfruit. This one is nice and delicately uh, fleshed and it'll absorb any flavors that you uh, put it in with, you know, like a curry or a sweet and sour or something like that. Nice. And tremendously good flavor. Uh, breadfruits don't have a lot of flavor being a starch, but uh, this one does the best of accepting the flavors of the sauce. Here's a malafala breadfruit. Now the sap can be used as a glue, you can see that, it's a latex kind of sap, also as a waterproofing. The ancient Hawaiians use the, every part of this, this plant. They used the wood, they used the sap for glue and waterproofing, and the fruit is extremely filling and nutrient uh, filled, plenty of vitamins and minerals, and this one's ripe, you can tell there's uh, brown lines around the section, uh, these little sections right here. There we go, malafala.
Okay, time to put the ulu in. I'm just gonna have to rotate it. And this one's ripe. It's not soft, but it does have a brown in the separation in the little sections. So we're gonna cook it by campfire. This is gonna be good. Remember, I'm just gonna have to rotate it. That's why I left the stem on there, so I can rotate it. Ah, I'm thinking, I've done this before. Okay. Looks like this ulu is done. Let's open her up. The breadfruit that I was cooking. There we go. Yes. It smells really good. So before I cut this, I already have coconut oil on there, right, from opening a coconut. You can see the nice patina starting. That's from the coconut. And I'm just going to cut this ulu, but it has a latex sap, so I would normally use like a frog lube or something. This is a, a food safe, a corrosive protectant um, against rust. Uh, but you just want to use a food safe oil Coconut is really good, so I'm just gonna go with this so the latex uh, sap does not stick on the blade. Here we go. It's hot. It's hot. Hot. Oh boy. She's hot. She's hot. hot. Oh, there we go. Almost lost her. Oh wow. There we go. That steaming smells so good. Oh yeah, there you go. Still got a little bit of sap on there, but I can, I can get that off. Not a big deal. There you go, ulu, breadfruit, and a Genesis by LT Wright. Yeah. I'm gonna cut out this part right here, just like this. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. They say if there was a breadfruit planted for every human being on the planet, there would be no world hunger. I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Ulu, breadfruit, awesome plant. Grows in the tropics. It's from, I believe, uh, the South Pacific. And the Hawaiians brought it over as part of the canoe plants. Please subscribe, please hit that red bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. I've got some awesome videos coming up. And until next time, aloha!